Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about what we do at Percona and how we uh, integrate Grafana and, uh, and Prometheus together in, uh, uh, for monitoring for MySQL and MongoDB. Now, first, uh, I want to say a few words about, uh, about Percona. So what we do as a company, we really focus on solutions for uh, MySQL and uh, MongoDB. And unlike many uh, companies in uh, uh, our field which focused on uh, their uh, only solution, we really are committed to taking a broad look at the MySQL and MongoDB community and supporting what exists out there, right? There is MySQL, MariaDB, Amazon RDS, Google Cloud SQL, MySQL space, right? Or uh, MongoDB and our own Percona server in MongoDB. We support all of those technologies as pretty much uh, other technologies which exist in uh, MySQL and uh, the in MySQL ecosystem, which you would uh, may uh, want to uh, choose to run. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I believe uh, right now the power of uh, open source ecosystem as a whole, even if you take like some MySQL technology, MongoDB technology is uh, much more uh, than uh, any uh, single vendor, right? Even if you're speaking about a main vendor such as MongoDB or you know, Oracle for MySQL, right? You can get a lot more power if you involve the whole community out there. Uh, we also do a whole bunch of software, right? So these are our uh, main products for uh, MySQL uh, and uh, MongoDB. We have uh, our own uh, uh, branches for uh, to, to replace MySQL and MongoDB, as well as various other tools uh, for, for, uh, for backup, for some maintenance operations, and more recently uh, for monitoring. Our approach is what we want to make sure there is a good 100% open source platform which is, exists, uh, which is good enough for vast majority of users to run their applications, right? And uh, so you would find a lot of uh, software, what we are doing, it is and uh, an alternative for it uh, or only exist as an uh, uh, enterprise version. So for example, if you look at the MySQL space, the official backup solution only comes in the MySQL enterprise subscription. We have Percona extra backup for that. If <laughs> uh, yes, uh, and if you look at some uh, solutions for uh, let's say pluggable authentication or auditing, both in MySQL and uh, MongoDB, we have uh, alternatives to those enterprise-only features in, uh, uh, in our software. Uh, now, well, we also uh, uh, have to make money, right, as, uh, uh, as any companies out there. And uh, we do that mainly through uh, support. It's uh, either uh, uh, support, we also have a service called uh, Percona Care, which is uh, more uh, proactive support. And uh, we have a managed services. If you, do, if you don't like running databases, you want to kind of sell those problems and have somebody else uh, to suffer all those pains, you can make those somebody else's to be, uh, to be ourselves. Now, this is not what I'm, uh, I'm here to talk about, but if you guys want to talk uh, more about what kind of uh, things we can uh, do for you, you can come uh, here to uh, to our little booth in the plugin area, and also where is our esteemed salesperson? No. Oh yeah, he's out there. You see that guy with her hand? I was going to joke. Oh, joke. Oh, salespeople always on time, but actually we have one on time today. <laughs> anyway, doesn't sound so funny in New York. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. N uh, anyway, so. Back to, uh, to monitoring. Now, as Percona, we work with many complicated database problems. And uh, in this case, we really need uh, some deep insights into a database, how a database uh, really operates. Now, as I mentioned, uh, we also would like to see that uh, being available in the, in the open source. Well, if you look at the community for monitoring as it uh, exists in MySQL and uh, uh, MongoDB, Typically, that would be either commercial, like MySQL Enterprise Monitor, MongoDB Ops Manager, MongoDB, right? Or uh, you would look at some tools which are, uh, mm, uh, which are, uh, which are cloud only. Now, there are some open source uh, 
mm, solutions, but I would say they are typically good components which you have to go ahead and uh, and package together, right? For example, if you look at graffiti, uh, collect D, stats D have a very good integration with MySQL, but then you have to go take, uh, you know, graffiti here, integrate with Grafana, get some integration with uh, metrics, which is hard for, uh, uh, for a lot of people. Uh, and what you also find, a lot of those tools, they only capture some very, uh, very basic MySQL metrics, right? So for example, while here, I've taken a look at the Snap MySQL plugin, right? Which, well, it does capture some basic, but that's nowhere enough how much operational data the modern MySQL versions, uh, versions provide. So when you look at those tools, we uh, had the following requirements. We want to make sure we have a completely free and open source uh, uh, solution which we can use in the cloud and uh, on the premises. We have uh, uh, both kind of uh, customers, which would be easy to, uh, to install, right? And going back to a free and open source, we also want people to be able to use it to monitor both development and production systems. What we notice with a lot of people using expensive monitoring solutions, they only tend to monitor production, right? And then they are missing out on opportunity, for example, to find bad queries in development or staging environments and prevent the downtimes, right, through doing so. Having 100% uh, uh, easy to uh, open source and easy to use solution, uh, you don't have this problem anymore. Now, if you look at uh, modern uh, uh, monitoring system, I think you can look about them through like di uh, three different stages. One is something like a, uh, a data capture. When there is a question about the storage and, uh, uh, and, uh, and processing, right? And then there is a visualization. I think previously we had solutions like uh, Cacti, right? We should merge all of them in a single, uh, uh, in a single area. Now it's kind of more separated and, and in many cases you can uh, replace uh, different, uh, different components, uh, components as, you, uh, as you like now. Now what are requirements that do we say for uh, those three components? When you speak about the data capture, uh, we want high level of details because we want uh, uh, to, uh, to be able to find complicated issues and that means both high resolution such as one seconds uh, as well as a sheer volume of metrics we capture. We want low overhead because you don't want to take the monitoring system to take off, I don't know, say 10% 10, 10 of your uh, system capacity. And obviously you need to have a good support for, uh, for your technology, right? So system to be aware about MySQL, if MySQL to care about, right? And uh, there are a number of uh, solutions exist in this place. Uh, for uh, storage and processing for us, it was important to have a high performance, both in terms of a, a data ingestion as well as efficient storage, and uh, a powerful uh, query language. Uh, how we see that is what a lot of people, uh, uh, they would just use the dashboards, right? So if I, uh, the question is what there is some uh, complicated language out there is not important, but what is uh, important, what we can express wherever we need uh, you know, to, to really do it, right? And then for, there are a bunch of tools for uh, visualization, right? Well, the thing about visualization is uh, it has to be sexy. Like, like, I mean, like Grafana sexy. I mean, be, uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, and I think uh, that is what people see first, right? And then you figure out how functional it is, which uh, I would say in case of uh, uh, Grafana comes together. Now, what makes Grafana special for us? I think what is uh, important, what until announcement uh, on, on this conference, Grafana's main focus was on really uh, visualization, right? And it, were, and, uh, it has uh, very good support for, uh, for different backends, which allow us to put uh, different things together, right? And uh, 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 in the future, if we need to uh, replace some of them or use multiple different tools for different jobs, right, uh, uh, it, uh, it can be done very well. Uh, it supports plugins very well, uh, supports multiple data, uh, data servers, uh, and it actually even integrates with some other uh, visualization tools, like there is a, pl a plugins for Graphite, for Grafana, OpenNMS, or uh, Zabbix. 
But I think what is the most important one here uh, is what it has the greatest uh, momentum in community, right? So as much as uh, I love Grafana as it is now, I expect it due to this momentum to become better, a lot better in a year or, or two years from now, right? And, and this is why uh, we're kind of placing a bet on it. Now, in terms of Prometheus, uh, we choose that uh, one is a data model. We very much like uh, Prometheus data model uh, where you can have this, uh, any number of uh, key value pairs uh, as tags, so it's more flexible when, when you get from uh, with graffiti, for, uh, for example. And that is very important for us because the uh, data can be quite de deep and complicated in uh, a database space. We like uh, uh, what the query language is uh, very ex uh, expressive. And what you kind of uh, don't have uh, any uh, restrictions. If you have a data in your Prometheus system, you sort of can filter group by and sort of join to use a relational uh, database wall any like uh, you like. And in our case, you may be looking at, let's say, CPU, which has a scope of a whole server, and then queries which are relatively have a scope of a MySQL database instance, which can be many, right? Uh, which was hard to represent in some of the systems. And we also like Prometheus uh, efficiency, right? Both in terms of space and in terms of uh, ingestion rate, because in our solution, which we provide for users, we in, in a relatively small uh, virtual appliance, we both can get a lot of data and high resolution data captured, as well as being able to support a lot of servers. Now, uh, to be honest, uh, this uh, requirement to have a pool I is not something we uh, really like a lot uh, uh, about Prometheus. And the reason for that is uh, that requires us to have flow going kind of two directions because in our system, Prometheus is not, uh, is not the only component out there. We also use some uh, other components for, uh, for storing events, for dealing with queries and, uh, and so on and so forth, right? So uh, if, uh, uh, if it would support uh, push, we would uh, enjoy it a lot. Okay. Yeah, and that message was not for you, but especially for Brian. <laughs> Never over my dead body. I'm reading his lips right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, so what we have built out there, we call Percona Monitoring Management, which is an easy to monitor, uh, easy to use monitoring solution for MySQL and, uh, and MongoDB, right? Uh, and uh, we are very proud that we are standing on the shoulders of the giants here. We didn't try to write any f everything in house. Uh, we only uh, write the components which we uh, which really help help to. If you look at the architecture, it's kind of uh, uh, looks, I know, fancy, ugly, whatever terms you want to use, but it uses multiple of uh, components. We integrate, for example, a built-in console to manage your uh, uh, infrastructure, and then we have uh, both uh, Prometheus as well as our own application to deal with uh, the MySQL queries. For users, you just get a Docker container, which we use uh, as a current media of our uh, the virtual appliance, and then you would uh, install uh, uh, agents which will take care of uh, or everything inside, right? So people don't have to understand there is a Prometheus involved. Uh, uh, there is some other complexity we do, like we capture different data from MySQL uh, with different resolution because some things are way too expensive for MySQL to capture in, uh, every second. Not because Prometheus is not able to do that or store that kind of a data, but just because, you know, gra uh, grabbing all the, query, uh, all the table sizes every second for MySQL would be uh, too much. So what you get in the end is we get uh, uh, insights on both uh, uh, operating system level and uh, MySQL level. And you guys can probably uh, see what this is where uh, uh, Grafana is being heavily used. But we also uh, do a lot with uh, MySQL queries. Because if you look at the database, really, as a black box, what database does, it serves the queries, right? And we want often to understand what kind of queries it is serving, right? And what of those queries causing the most load. You can uh, here uh, understand both rates of the queries as well as the query latencies and uh, uh, what kind of queries causing the load. 
Now, what we also provide is ability to show why Avios query is causing this load. So, for example, in this application, you can see there is so much time is taken by the disk I.O. Or, or by the lock. So you can really uh, go ahead and uh, understand uh, why this query is causing the load, right, and, uh, and what to do about that. Uh, finally, uh, you probably want to know how to fix them. And what does the DBA or developer normally do? Well, you would go ahead and run explain statement, right, which you have for you uh, on the same page, as well as you may say, hey, you know what, why are you getting this, uh, this explain? What kind of indexes you're having? We can show you both uh, uh, create table, which has all information about data types and indexes, as well as more deep uh, information about their uh, uh, indexes. And all of those are presented uh, on, on the single page, so it's very easy for you to uh, make a decision what to do uh, about a given query. Finally, we also provide you uh, the information about the system. If you manage many systems, you may not really know what kind of MySQL version or how much uh, you're running, how much memory you have installed. And in many cases, those are also important to make a uh, understanding about uh, what to do uh, with the system and why performance problems may be happening. So we also e do that, and here we integrate with, uh, with Percona Toolkit, which is another popular tool in, uh, uh, in MySQL uh, uh, ecosystem. Okay, so if you guys want to find out more, uh, I invite you to talk to uh, us uh, at the booth. We can show you uh, the live demo, and also actually you can go ahead and browse it yourself. We have a live demo running so you can uh, explore both of those uh, functions and then you also may say oh you know what guys i like your dashboards there's a lot of fancy graphs but i already have grafana installed and maybe in prometheus can i just take your dashboard and on the whole enchilada well as it's open source project it's obviously you can and we, we make it even easier for you, you can just get the, da uh, the grafana dashboards uh, uh, itself uh, at the github and uh, um, uh, and use it. I, that's it for me.